Another day, and of course, more snow overnight. Won't be long before my trailer's completely buried. I've been in this house over a decade, and right now the snowbank by the sidewalk is waist height. My tree in the front yard is pretty much, I wouldn't say buried, but the shrubs that surround the bottom of it are completely under the snow. Yet, Climate Barbie, that stunt cunt, keeps on saying, the world's getting warmer, the climate is changing. Nope, sure the fuck isn't getting warmer. We may have had a hot summer, but we have an equally cold winter. Well, we finished off last night with a late night doing the powder coating and went inside, edited videos till almost one o'clock in the morning, got up, edited some more videos this morning, went to go grocery shopping, and my door locks are frozen. Wasn't able to lock my doors because locks are frozen. Luckily, I have a heat gun outside in the garage. Grabbed the heat gun, grabbed the WD-40. Heated up the lock to melt any ice or whatever else is inside it. Sprayed WD-40 in it to lubricate and also displace any water. So far, the situation's been good. I'm thinking because it got so cold, and with all this fresh snow we got, and all the wind that was blowing, is that uh, snow must have been getting into the lock. And with the heat transfer from the house, probably ended up freezing up the lock that way that's my guess but also when I was editing the video when I was doing the powder coating and when I put this door on one thing came to mind with the alignment and I had a feeling I was gonna have to do something about that because since the floor is not attached which is a good thing and we need to get this squared up we just can't weld it into place but when I was jacking up the door to set the alignment on here, when I had the camera down below, I actually saw this pillar come up as well. So, that solves a lot of problems. What we're going to do is loosen up all the bolts, set it up again. I got some ratchet straps. If needed to, ratchet strap on the side, come back to that pillar there, attach it to here. Go across on the roof, attach it on the other side to hold it up, if possible. Even put the latch in to hold it in place while we fit this rocker up. Once we get this rocker fit, that's half the battle right there. After that, nothing else really is too critical. Like the wheel wells, cut those out. Those don't really need to be perfect. The floor and the door jams have to be pretty well bang on. Our things just aren't gonna fit right and then this project is just fucking scrap. Ultimately what I need to do I need to loosen those bolts out. I think the easiest method at this point now put the striker on that should help us out follow the old paint lines should be pretty close for alignment this fender is gonna go for the time being Oh, why you half inch? Uh, looking at this, sure stirring up a lot of emotions right now. Making the difficult business decision to part ways with the car. I got it listed for sale. It's been quite a bit of interest in it. If I can get rid of the body and then sell all the new parts off separately, I think in the long run will benefit me and this channel.
because that way I'll have the whole garage space in. You know, I won't be working in the alley. You guys seen that struggle working in the alley on the rocks. I'll have my shed back, which is full of the 57 Chevy parts. A lot of the stuff can go outside of the shed. I'm not using it like the engine press or the engine hoist or something. Oh yeah, never fails. The weekend comes gray, gloomy, freaking snowing. Let's get something done in the garage though. All right, let's get started, shall we? One of the things I need to do is get a freaking haircut, but till it starts getting warm out, it's not gonna happen. This weather's really starting to get old and suck dick with the fucking asshole. That's what I'm talking about. Buddy was supposed to swing by today, check out the car. Talked a lot of shit on the phone, but failed to produce. Off the list from him if he ever decides to call back. Got no time for fucking idiots. In the meantime, I went on a shopping spree today. Picked up a shop vacuum, the Milwaukee M18 version. And then the Milwaukee guy was there and I was acquiring about 9 amp hour batteries and the kit was like 300 and some bucks. And he's like, you know, you buy this tool and the grinder is free. Four and a half inch grinder, 9 amp hour battery charger, 299 Couldn't pass that up. And then yesterday on the Rape Wagon, picked up a snap-on pry bar set by the four get the three foot one free and I also have one of these lights for work and you know these are very affordable 29 bucks and this light is freaking amazing reviews on those will be on my other channel now I'm gonna show you guys something last week for me I know maybe a month month and a half ago for you guys when I posted a quick iPhone video on trying to do the alignment when buddy said you want to come and look at the car I was cleaning it up and I had a strap that was pulling the pillar, but when I put everything back together, look at that. Hey, I didn't even adjust nothing. And the door alignment is like bang on. It's a little bit wide here, but as far as straightness goes, sweet. All I know is I've been spending way too much time trying to align the door that I'm not gonna be able to do to everything set in place. So what we're gonna do first off, I'm gonna bolt this into place, drill some holes, tack welder in. So what I did is I drilled through with 1 8 and then I took a little bigger bit but then drilled completely through kind of like a countersink almost and that way when I tack weld it into place should hold her well let's get the welder set up this should still be set up where I had it last ready to rock and roll Perfect. Just kind of tack welded that into place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fit the rocker up to the floor and then adjust the whole floor to try to match the pillars. And then kind of get it squared up there and tack it into place. Because of what some people have mentioned is that I'm putting too many variables in it and that's absolutely correct. You know, even shimming the body, I uh, will adjust the variables. I just need to get it somewhat close and then hopefully worry about the rest after if I have to uh, machine some shims, um, modify the brackets, it is what it is. But I think it's motherfucking beer time now.
All right, motherfucking beer time. Yukon Brewery and Chilkoot. Beer worth freezing for because it's cold as fuck outside. Ah. As of right now, we're just going to fucking wing it. Been thinking about it way too much. Because if you buy a floor complete with the rockers, they're already welded in place. I need to do the same with this. Weld the rockers in place, shift the floor, adjust it so that the door can kind of sit in there squarely, tack it in place, get the rear door, see if I have to shift it around some more, tack it in place, hopefully a done motherfucking deal. Been spending way too much time playing with variables that won't all come together till everything's in place. Anyways, fucking chill coot, Yukon Brewing. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I want to thank you guys for watching.